it's me, Stu, and welcome to my wonderful world. Coming up, a new episode of Statistics. But first, let me tell you about my sad, sad, hapless weekend. Ah, it was weekend number two with no Breaking Bad. Needless to say, I had a substantial violence and meth cooking void in my Sunday night. So I went online to see if I could read more about a series that's already over featuring people that aren't real. And I found this. Hmm, look at this. It's from Michael Moore. Uh, see, in the Canadian Breaking Bad, one, treatment paid by health insurance, two, the end. <laughs> see, don't you get it? If Breaking Bad happened in Canada, there would be no Breaking Bad because they have government health care. So clever. Let's get a little antisocial on Michael breaking scales more. Spoiler alerts are ahead. I'm going to warn you now. Don't get mad at me. I'm about to ruin the entire series for you if you haven't seen it. Breaking Bad is a television series about Walter White, a nice and happy chemistry teacher who finds out he has lung cancer. The way Michael Moore tells it, Walt can't get affordable cancer treatment, so he is forced to cook meth to pay for them. Mmm, very sad. However, in Canada, they have single-payer health care. So in Canada, as the poster says, Walter White would get coverage right away. He would stay a nice, happy chemistry teacher. Really boring series, if that were true. Look, Michael Moore says a lot of stupid things, but this has been passed around the Internet like crazy, and people actually believe it. So let's go through some of the problems with Michael Moore's idiocy. Problem number one. Walt would be covered. In real life, a member of the teachers' union would have insurance that absolutely covers cancer treatments. Albuquerque school district employees are eligible for medical, dental, vision, basic, additional life insurance, long-term disability, pre-tax insurance, premium plan, PPIP. Ah, how about flexible spending accounts? How about long-term care insurance? 403B and the 457B deferred compensation plans, blah, 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 blah. That's a generous package. In fact, teachers' unions have some of the most extravagant health benefits in America, only outdone by DEA agents injured in the line of duty. This is another lazy health care-related plot twist and an otherwise brilliant show. In the Breaking Bad world, DEA agents somehow don't get covered for physical therapy. This is absurd. In fact, one of the only stumbling blocks to a DEA agent or a teachers' union providing the best possible care is the 40% tax levied by Obamacare known as the Cadillac tax. It's almost certain the real issue Walt and Hank would be facing is the loss of their good health care plan because of Obamacare. Problem number two with Michael Moore. Canada is absolutely not better than it is here. In real life, cooking meth is a better option than Canadian health care. If you listen to Michael Moore, you'd believe that Canadian health care provides the best possible care that would cover high-end and experimental treatments for cancer. Truth is, they do no such thing. Canadian health care might theoretically cover everyone, but it's only sustainable because of two things. One, they don't cover lots of treatments. And two, they make everyone wait a really, 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 really long time. Check out Brian Lilly of Sun News and his experience in Canada. It was a few months ago that my wife said she was going to call and get me a doctor's appointment. I'd experienced a few health changes over the past year, but just hadn't gone to see my doctor yet. So in early July, she said she would call to set up an appointment for a full physical. I still haven't seen the doctor, but not because I refuse to go. My appointment isn't until March Lily is not alone in waiting, though. According to Canadian think tank, the Fraser Institute, specialist physicians surveyed over 12 specialties in 10 Canadian provinces report a total waiting time of 17.7 weeks between referral from a general practitioner and elective treatment in 2012. What else are you going to do in those 17.7 weeks? I mean, you got to cook meth, right? At least it's a way to pass the time. Problem number three with Michael Moore. If you're going to use a fictional show to prove your supposedly non-fictional point, you can't eliminate parts of the story that disagree with you. In real life, Walt didn't want cancer treatment. In fact, he went out of his way to avoid it. He was a very sad person and honestly just wanted to go away. Walt didn't cook meth to pay for his cancer treatments. Walt used cancer as an excuse to do something that made him feel important. More than the money, he lusted after the power. And he very famously said this. Jesse, you asked me if I was in the meth business or the money business. Neither. 
I'm in the empire business. Mm, see? In addition to all that, if government union health care somehow didn't cover Walt's treatment, the conservative argument is that he might get help from friends and family in bridging the gap. On the show, Walt's two rich friends offered to pay for his entire cancer treatment, and Walt turned it down. And I get that not everyone would have friends that are really rich to pay for the treatment, but Walt did because of his, you know, look, he lived a life, and the merit of that life's work inspired others to help him. Shockingly, there are kind and generous people in this world to help people in need. Again, if you want to use fiction to make a supposedly non-fictional point, you can't ignore the parts that disagree with you. Even if you don't have rich friends, there are tons of charities who work to help people who are really in need if you can prove that that need is real. It doesn't mean everyone gets care that they need, but it also doesn't mean that in Canada. Canada sucks for health care. As Megan McArdle put it, the actual plot of Breaking Bad Canada, should such a show exist, might well show Walter White of Alberta desperately cooking meth in order to buy a plane ticket to Texas. To review, Michael Moore is fat. Union health care plans shockingly cover cancer treatments. And this thing back here, it is not at all based in fact. Come on, you have cancer, it starts next. That's not the way it works, okay? If you're looking for better health care in Canada, you might as well be as dead as Walter White. Spoiler alert. So we might have to rework the viral post a little bit here. Let's see what this looks like. See, Breaking Bad Canada, you have cancer. Your appointment is until March. Uh, here lies Walter Hartwell White. <laughs>